But I've still got a bit of light. Um, what I want you to do now is grab a, your pen and that piece of paper or a notebook. We are now going out onto the ground and you'll see some signs that say do not. So the whole square, I do not want you to walk in. I've got permission off Cricket Victoria for us to go out there. And what we're going to do, each and every one of you, without talking to each other, is I want you to assess the pitch, I want you to assess the outfield, and then we're going to walk around the other side and assess another pitch. Then we're going to come back, and we'll get to it a bit later, because there's been, so you have a full understanding, all our marks that we allocate for the pitch and the outfield mainly goes to councils. So councils do take it very seriously, and they want accurate feedback on where the ground is falling down and if it's in good shape or whatever. So some of us I've got feedback on are either don't know how to assess an outfield and a pitch, some are not sure, so we're going to go through and I've also got a handout that will give you about that as well. So I want you now, while we've still got enough light, Michael Moss is going to stay inside so we can get back in, press the button. So, but I need, I need this to happen fairly quickly. So if you please rise, we'll go out on the ground, we'll do an assessment and we'll come back. Assessing the pitch in our field, now what we did. Now before we go through this, I want you to tell me by a show of hands, who gave pitch one a nine? One, two, who gave it a ten? Eights? Sevens? Below seven? Interesting. Okay. I couldn't assess it because the ball hadn't been bowled on it. Okay. Don't jump the gun here, Jeff. Don't jump. Okay. Pitch two. Who gave it a ten? Nines. Eights. Sevens. Sixes. Or below. Okay. The idea of doing the exercise was you can't judge a pitch just by looking at it. You don't know. I've, I've, a lot of us have played cricket, umpire cricket, and you've been, and I remember going out to Box Hill many years ago, and you go, gee, what a fantastic little wicket, next thing it's rubbing. So you've got to assess it for what it is. But what's happened, a lot of us are not assessing, we're not being really fair about it, we're not looking at the pitch and taking it into consideration, which I'll go through in a minute, and we're not giving it due thinking time and assessing it properly. Councils want accurate as close as possible. Now, I know we've all got differences of opinion based on experiences. I get that. But as a collective, when there's two of you, you should be able to assess it pretty well. If someone says, look, I reckon it's a seven, and the other one says eight, debate it, discuss it until you come to a conclusion and agree. Really important. Councils need this information. All right? So let's go through it. And just by a show of hands tonight, we've seen just by looking at them, we've got nines down to sixes. We're all over the shop. So it depends what you're looking for. So this is, this, now, this is just guidelines. And there's a handout for this as well. Was the pitch flat and even? No holes or low spots. Was the pitch evenly grassed? Percentage of grass cover. Were grass cuttings used on a pitch? Was the pitch hard? How many of you go out to a pitch and try, you know, do you put the, the key, try the old pommy key one? Did the ball appreciably indent the pitch during play? Were the line markings satisfactory and correct? Two day match, was the, mat, was the pitch similar to one prepared for the first day of the match? Yes or no? You can make a comment in the comments box. You know, day one we thought the, the pitch was worth an eight, but on day two, for whatever reason, it deteriorated, it wasn't looked at, we only rated it a six. Well, put that in and let, let the VSDCA know about it. 
because that will be sent to the councils. You know, they might have mowed it the wrong week or whatever it might be. Behaviour was the bounce consistent and even over the days of play. Was it considered fair to both batsman and bowler? Was it a good cricket pitch? Was there any spin? Now, a good cricket pitch could be the way you look at it and go, gee, that looks fantastic. But it plays ordinary. How many of you played and, and umpired on wickets? You go, gee, this looks terrible. But it plays fantastic. So you've got to be careful about what you assess. But try and take it a little more serious about it. Be fair to the clubs. Be fair to the councils. And all the people that try and put a lot of time in to prepare the wickets in the outfield. Really important. <coughs> What would you rate that pitch? Come on, you're all experts now. Just looking at it, what do you think? Looks all right. You don't know how it'll play. A few foot marks there, right? Roller marks. Benny, I took that picture. Roller marks. Yeah, there it is. You know where it is. So for those who are um, quite a banella, that's a banella. Yeah. They do a lot of pre-season games. Uh, that pitch um, was a bit damp and it, and it bounced a, a lot. And the, the bowlers, it was a bowler's pitch. So um, the batsman struggled to score runs on it. So that, Tell about the indentations of the roller. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's look at this one. Cool. How did you rate that? Looks like a brand new pitch, doesn't it? It looks really. You probably look at it and go, gee, at this moment I'm thinking a 10. I'd like to bowl on it. Yeah, you would. <laughs> but, but you're probably looking at it from the way it is, the way it's been prepared. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? But until you actually know how it plays, it could be really low. No guidelines. It's a two day game. It's a two day game. But that's okay. Um, have a look at the two blokes down the other end near the stumps. What are they doing? <laughs> Hey, right? where are you, Nocky? What, what are you doing there, mate? Oh, Michael said you were telling him about the pitch. I like it. Really good. There's another pitch. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, can you get those videos up? Yeah. At the end of the day, I, all I'm saying is to you, be fair with your assessment, give it some time and work together on it.